I love glasses. They make the personality. I said, I should get some glasses for special, special moments. For instance, if I want to show off my beautiful silver hair, nothing would show that off like a pair of silver glasses. Silver, look at the light, ref look at the silver, can you tell where the hair starts and the glasses begin? I think this is a very nice touch. And I think we should not be afraid to dress up a little bit, especially when we get these so damn old. Doesn't matter anyway. We might as well have a little fun on the way out, if you know what I mean. So anyway, what kind of, what kind of videos might I want to be doing? And how should I dress for the part? Well, one thing, you know, I've thought of, it's all about American Idol. And I think maybe that it's time I, I want to find the next star. If I want to try to be the next star. But see, that's pretty hard when you're up against Mr. Pregnant and all those other fabulous people. So, if you're going to look for stars, you want to have kind of what I'd call the star search look. You're looking for a star. And you want to have looking for stars with class, man. Class. Yeah. We're looking for stars. As a matter of fact, you go into a bar, see some nice hot little thing, and you say, You know what? I think I could make you a star. Do you know how many times that line has worked for how many people? Now, I, I, I wouldn't do such a thing. I'd play more innocent. I'd say, I'm really just looking for stars. You know, I like to help people out, help them get discovered. I kind of got stars in my eyes. I, I hope you can see, because uh, these glasses just leave me starstruck. So that's another possible option. Now, these are red glasses, you know. What if I was, what was I was looking for a star at a Christmas party? Why? I would have to get out my Christmas hat on. Yes, sir. Well, I'd go looking for a star in style. Now, you know, if you saw me at a party with this hat on and these glasses, or those wonderful booty, it's Bootsy, I don't know who Bootsy is, hey, those Bootsy star glasses. Now wouldn't you know that I was somebody? Wouldn't you know that I was, I was a, just a, a dirty old fag that drifted in from Hollywood and that you just might want to try to come on to me like you could play me while I was trying to play you? Oh, but we don't, we got to keep our integrity here. So let's, let's talk about more serious matters. We are, we're in a war, and there's a lot of talk around the country about um, patriotism. And, you know, if you criticize the war, you're not supporting our troops. And, and so I might want to do some news reporting, like live in Baghdad. And I don't want anybody to doubt that I'm a patriot. You saw my American flag shirt. I got two or three other very similar. But today, I got, I got the Patriot glasses. Yes, sir. You couldn't doubt that I, whose side I was on, I bet if I walked up at 51st Street and 6th Avenue, that Fox News would rush out and try to sign me up on the spot. They would know I was their kind of people. Yes, siree. I could find some old thrown away bush button just so they could be absolutely sure. I might, I might get to, well let me see, you know what, maybe, maybe I would get to host Fox's uh, New Year's show. Let, let me show you how I might show up. It gotta have class if you're gonna go big time, you know. A star needs a star. As a matter of fact, more stars you have on your hat. The more stars you probably have in your bed, 
and the more stars you have on your uh, ratings on Blip and Vo and YouTube, all those important places that people are just now discovering. They're going to replace, you know, all those big time operations like Fox News and all that. Anyway, stuff. I got myself a tig pants and I'm ready to roll. Ready to roll. But first I want to show you a few other, few other little things that might come in real handy. Now maybe, maybe, maybe I just go to work for MSNBC. You know, like how they sneak around those people, they... They, they lure those idiots that are so stupid to run around and try to keep a date with a 15-year-old that they met on an internet chat room. But do that kind of work. you got to be kind of undercover. These are the perfect undercover classes. No one knows who you are. I don't care. You know what I mean? I mean, you could, you could wear the top hat. You can look kind of like, kind of interesting, but to almost totally anonymous. So, that would be sort of the investigative reporting. Now, you might want to, you might want to, you know, you might want to look more sophisticated. Because sophistication's in. Everybody likes a sophisticated looking man. And I went out to a hat shop today, and I spent $40. $40. I actually didn't spend more on this hat than, than all the other hats put together almost. Let me show it to you. This hat, this is a heritage hat. This hat is a heritage line of this company. They went into business in 1938. And it says 1938 was a, you know why 1938 was a good year? Because 1938 was the year I was born. Couldn't be better year than that, right? And they said, they said, I had to buy a hat, because when I found out they were found in 1938, and then they said to get a hat like this, you'd have to steal it from your grandfather. And you would embarrass your parents doing that. Now that was the most impressive little sales tag I ever saw on a hat. I'm going to put that tag up on my bulletin board, and I'm going to look dapper. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to look dapper, dapper, dapper in my fancy Fitting. Hat. Say that I go swimming. I go somewhere. I got a report on on somebody being eaten by a shark. Well, I I found another another great little outfit here. This this is your underwater reporter. I have to put on a rubber cap. I, I haven't gotten that one yet. This is this is this is Randy Wicker reporting underwater from Ocala Beach, Florida, where three swimmers were eaten today by a great white shark and one of them it was spit back up and lived to tell the story stay tuned because we have the news for you I'm not sure what I what these these got they got a nice glitter to them nice kind of star you know do they have they kind of have they just sort of clearish lenses but I thought they were sort of like you could say surprise this is a surprise hour your eyes will grow big and wide and round when you see what we have to offer you tonight's show. A tonight show you'll never forget. So stay and watch our sponsors and stay tuned because we are going to make your eyes bigger than my glasses.